if you create lots of collections or databases within a MongoDB, it is inevitable that there will be some relation between different collections or even different databases. And at some point of time, when you need complete data, you need to refer through multiple collections. Okay, there is a way to get data from all the collections and, you know, displayed at some other software or other front end. So in this particular introductory video on schema design, we are going to look into how to reference documents in different collections and why we need to do that. Now, we all know that MongoDB is schema-less, right? So even though it is schema-less, sometimes it may be a good idea to have it some kind of loosely defined schema because we are not going to put everything or anything coming from all the places in a particular collection. There must be some reason for that collection to exist, okay? Now, where should we use referencing? So this is kind of general rule okay but it depends upon your own scenario and circumstances but in general if you have repetitive data which is being repeated across multiple collections okay and it's the same data and it is not required to be accessed each and every time the parent document is accessed then we can create these repetitive data in a different collection and we can refer that Let's go ahead and see an example in MongoDB Compass. Now I'm in MongoDB Compass and you can see this document people data has 10,000 records and this has people name, name zero, name one and the bank on which the person account is there. But there are only five banks. Okay. So basically for 10,000 people, all of them will have a bank account, which means that since there are only five banks and each bank has its own address. So this data will be repeated for all the 10,000 people, 10,000 records. And let's assume that when we are accessing the records, it is not needed to access bank details all the time. Maybe it is required for salary or income tax purpose, but this is something that is not needed for all the time. And this is the classic case where you can keep this bank information in a different database and refer that database in this particular people data database, okay? So what I did, I have created two databases. One is a banks database, which has this five bank records and each bank record has its own unique ID. And I have a people database, which has again 10K records, 10K people, and each bank, instead of having bank name and bank address, it is having the object ID. And this object ID is similar to what is there in this particular bank's collection. Okay. Now from people collection, we can access bank collection and we can just get the data, all of them together by a MongoDB query. And that query is done by something called aggregation. Because there are two collections you need to aggregate to get the results. That is called aggregation. And if you see in MongoDB Compass, the second tab is aggregation. And how to do that, we are going to see. For doing that, we need to select hmm, lookup. Okay. And in here, you can see this is the syntax of lookup. Let me change this with what I want to do. So what I'm doing over here is that I'm just uh, copy pasting my own information as per my bank and people collection. So in here, what I'm trying to say is that from banks, the bank collection, local field is bank. The local field, which has the object ID for that particular collection from bank and foreign field is ID. The ID field, which is the foreign key, you can understand, right? That's ID is same as what is written in the bank detail. And we need to display it as bank, okay? So here you can see name as name zero bank, which is having bank name A bank and bank address. Similarly, name zero one will have B bank. So this is the way you can aggregate and get the data. Now, this was just the introductory video on how to relate the collection. There are many other things we can do with the aggregation framework itself. We are going to see that at some later point of time. 
So that's all I wanted to talk to all of you today. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. We will definitely meet again. And till the next time we meet, good day, goodbye. You take care.